Well, he's one of the top three male models in the world right now. Cro Kien made history at Paris Fashion Week last October, walking for Louis Vuitton. It marked his first time on the international stage, but also his rebirth as a transgender male model. And it was all documented in a film that's going to be released later this year. Thanks so much for joining me, Crow. <laughs> Thanks. It's great to be here. So you recently wrapped up a documentary. It documents your transformation from a female model to a male model. Why did you decide to document this journey? Um, so at first we were just going to do a photo shoot of a before and after and seeing the differences um, of how the process actually worked. But uh, then um, Gina Hole, the producer, uh, she runs a studio and we asked her to do the photo set and she was like, hold on, let's do a documentary instead and get that information out to everyone and share your story. And uh, we were like, all right, you know what, let's do it. So yeah, that's, that's how it came to be with the documentary. So you started filming when you were 20 years old. You're now 23. What was it like having a camera following you around for three years? Um, it was, sometimes it was a little stressful just because I always had to be like making sure that my schedule work, will work with theirs and their schedule will work with mine. And there was definitely a lot of communication that we had to build up. Um, but it was really great to be able to be there and have them with us, with me for the, uh, the journey. So yeah, it was just incredible. So this documentary, it depicts the physical uh, challenges with the transformation, but also the emotional challenges as well. What were some of the emotional challenges that you faced? Um, some of the emotional challenges I faced, uh, one of the biggest ones was um, how I felt about with my chest. Um, and it had gotten to a point that the surgery was being delayed a bit because of scheduling issues and issues with other doctors. Um, and that kind of delay over and over again got me worried that what if it's never going to happen? So I got into a really bad mental state at that point. Um, but they finally were able to confirm a date and be like, yes, this is happening. It's not going to be shifted around. And that was like a really big breath of relief for me for when I finally got that done because that's one of the biggest things I feel that with transgender people is that when you have that breast tissue there and you're just looking down, it's a constant reminder every day. So getting rid of that was really just so good. <laughs> yeah. And at the end of the documentary, you have your final debut at Paris Fashion Week walking for Louis Vuitton. You didn't even know that that was going to happen. And then it turned out to be the finale of the documentary. What was that feeling like walking out onto the stage, your true authentic self? What was going through your mind? Uh, it was amazing. I honestly, I never thought that I could be so successful and that I would be so accepted as a trans man in the fashion community. But I was just blown away with how supportive everyone was, especially Louis Vuitton, um, for specifically seeking out trans and gender queer models for that show. So. Yeah, it was really incredible. <laughs> and your career has just taken off since that show. You've had so much success since then. Tell us um, what you've been doing. Um, so after the Louis Vuitton show in October, I ended up doing their uh, spring summer campaign. Um, and then I ended up uh, doing Men's Fashion Week after that. Um, and I was walking for different uh, brands like Kenton Kerwin, um, Balmain, uh, went back to doing Louis Vuitton, uh, did Alexander McQueen. Um, I was shooting for Luamo Vogue for the cover. Um, yeah, I've been doing such amazing stuff in the modeling career and working with such amazing people. So, That's yeah. amazing. <laughs> Did you ever think that, you know, you would get to this point? Uh, honestly, no. When I was doing modeling before as a female, I wasn't the same type of successful. Um, I still got around with work, but it wasn't the same gravity of success that this is. So it's just incredible to see that not only am I happier, but my career is also improving because I'm trans. So yeah, it's incredible. And such an inspiration to so many people. What do you hope people will take away from this documentary? What I really hope is that um, this can save some lives. Uh, we're trying to get it out into high schools and elementary schools so that um, young kids that are kind of feeling this can see that there is really someone who has gone through this process and is actually genuinely happy and has had that success because most stories are just horror stories and tragic so yeah so it has a happy ending yeah <laughs> thank you so much for joining us congratulations you so on your success it's so Great nice to meet you. you and you can catch the full documentary on out tv later this year in vancouver mary cranston city news